Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of statistics. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us, let the six numbers, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, be in arithmetic progression. And we have also been given that sum of first and the third term is 10. Further, the question tells us mean of this six numbers, which are an arithmetic progression. The mean is 19 over 2 for them. And the variance, it's given to us as sigma square. So the question is asking us to find out the value of 8 times sigma square. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us here, the options are 220. The second answer choice given to us here is 210. The third, 105. And the last answer choice given to us is 200. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us. If I talk about the solution here, we know that the given sequence is in arithmetic progression and we know for a sequence in arithmetic progression difference between the consecutive terms is a constant value. So we have been told that the difference between the consecutive terms is a constant value. So if I have my first six terms from A1 to A6, that would make it the first term being A. Second term, if I want to find out, I will just add the difference to the previous term. To find the third term, I'll again add a difference, so it would become a plus 2d. The fourth term would become a plus 3d. Fifth term, a plus 4d. And the last term, a plus 5d. Once I have my six terms here, the question tells us that sum of the first two terms, uh, sorry, sum of first and third term is given to us as 10. So if I use that idea, First and third terms sum is given to us as 10. That tells us a plus a plus 2d is 10. So you get 2a plus 2d equals 10. That gives me two common. So a plus d becomes 5. Now once I have a plus d as 5 this, I'll mark that as equation 1. The second equation, I have been told that the mean of the six terms is 19 over 2. So mean is nothing but sum of six terms divided by number of six, number of terms that is six and 19 over two. So if I solve this further, I get A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5 plus A6. It is equal to 19 over two into six. Two ones, two threes. So you get 19 into 357. A1, we know it is A. A2 is A plus D. A3 is A plus 2D. A4 is A plus 3D. A5 is A plus 4D. And the last A plus 5D. So I get here how many A's are there? 6. And how many D's? D plus 2D, 3D, 6D, 10D, 15D. So 15D equals 57. Dividing throughout by 3 in this equation, I get 2a plus 5d equals 19. So I get my equation number 2. So once I have my equation 1 and equation 2. So from equation 1, I had it as 2a plus 2d equals 10. If I just write it in terms of 2a and 2d only and mark this as equation 1. Because if you see in the equation 2, you also have coefficient of a as 2. So if the coefficients are same, it becomes easy for us to cancel them. So 2a plus 5d equals 19. If I subtract the two equations to cancel this variable a, I get minus 3d is equals to minus 9. And that gives us d is 9 over 3, which is 3. So you get the answer to the question for the value of d and that is 3. And once I get a d as 3, I know a plus d was 5. So D becomes, or I should say A plus D was 5. So A plus 3 is equal to 5. And that gives me A as 5 minus 3, which is 2. So you have your first term, 2, and your difference is 3. 
So your arithmetic progression in that case becomes 2, the next term 5, 8, 11, 14, and 17. So you have this six terms as your terms of arithmetic progression. So these are your first six terms. Now once you have the six terms, you just use the idea for the variance. We know variance is nothing but square of standard deviation. So basically variance that is sigma square, if I want to find it as square of standard deviation becomes root of summation of xi square over n minus x bar square. That is the formula for standard deviation that if I square it, because I have been asked to find the variance, square root and square gets cancelled and you are left with summation of xi square over n minus x bar, where x bar is nothing but the mean of the six terms, which we already know it is 19 by 2, the whole square. Number of terms also we know it is 6 and summation of xi square, if I just find out, means each of the terms of arithmetic progression, if I just square and add, I get 2 square plus 5 square plus 8 square plus 11 square plus 14 square plus 17 square minus 19 by 2 the whole square and this entire sum of the squares is divided by 6. So further if I try to solve it I get 2 square 4, 5 square 25, 8 square so 64, then you have 11 square which is 121, 14 square which is 196 and 17 square which is 218. That whole thing is divided by 6 minus here you have 19 square, so 19 square is 361 divided by 2 square, that is 4. So if I just solve this now, so if I add 4 plus 25, that is 29 plus 64, so that is 93, 93 plus 121, that is 214 plus 196, so 410 and 289 added to that gives me 699. So 699 divided by 6 minus 361 divided by 4. Now, if I try to cancel this with 3, it will get cancelled. So 3, 2 times, 3, 2 times, 3, 3 times, 3, 3 times. So 233 over 2. To make the denominator same, I'll multiply both sides on the numerator and denominator by 2. So you get 466 minus 361 over 4 and that if you see you get 466 minus 361 that is 105 over 4. So you get the answer for the question here that was asked to us summation square. So variance you get that as 105 upon 4 but the question is asking you to find the value of the expression where your variance is multiplied with 8. So let's just multiply the variance with 8. So 8 times sigma square, 8 times 105 over 4. That gives me 4 ones for 2s. So 2 into 105 and that gives you 210. So you get the answer for the question as 210 for the value of the question asked. And that matches with option B. So B becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So first we use the concept of arithmetic progression where the difference between the consecutive terms is a constant value. From that, I use the condition of sum of first and third term being 10 to get me an equation in terms of A and D. Then I also used that the mean of the first six terms was 19 over 2. Again, I got one equation in terms of A and D and I solved the two equations. I got the values of A and d and that gave me the arithmetic progression that goes from 2 to 70 and then we just use the idea to find the variance and that is given by this formula summation of xi square over n minus x bar the whole square and that when i solved it further i got that as 105 over 4 then i just multiplied it with 8 to get the answer to become 210 I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of finding the variance and standard deviation.
I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos also and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.